the AI agent tech stack that scales to $1 million. Let's be honest. Many of the AI agents people are building today are just toys. Suppose you think a clever prompt inside a simple script is your ticket to a million users. In that case, you might find that approach falls apart like a house of cards the second you need reliable memory, complex business workflows, or more than one user at a time. The hard truth is that most AI agent tutorials focus on building a demo rather than a business. These simple agents are often fragile, a nightmare to troubleshoot, and hit a wall the moment they face real-world demands. So today, we're going beyond the basics. I'm going to outline the exact system blueprint, the frameworks, the infrastructure, and the data strategies you need to build an AI agent that is robust, reliable, and capable of scaling to seven figures and beyond. This is the system the professionals use. This is how you turn a cool demo into a valuable business asset. Let's discuss the simple agent that works perfectly when you're the only user. In a real business setting, it quickly becomes a liability. What happens when that agent needs to take on a real job? First, it has the memory of a goldfish. It can't remember what a customer told it five minutes ago, let alone learn from past interactions. Every request is a blank slate, which makes building personalized, context-aware experiences impossible. A true business asset needs to remember user history and work toward long-term goals, something a simple script just can't do. Second, it's a black box. When it provides a strange answer or fails, how do you figure out what went wrong? It's like your car breaking down, but the hood is welded shut. You can't look inside to see the problem. Operating unthinkingly is a recipe for disaster in a live business environment. Third, it can't handle complexity. Real world tasks aren't one-step actions. They are messy, multi-step workflows that demand planning and adaptation. A basic AI loop trying to handle a complex task is like a clumsy cook trying to follow a gourmet recipe it's going to drop the ingredients and make a mess. A professional agent needs to be a master chef, executing each step perfectly. And finally, the biggest issue, it doesn't scale. How will you handle 10, 100, or 1,000 customers using it at once? A simple setup is like a single lemonade stand trying to serve an entire sports stadium. It will be instantly overwhelmed. This is the wall that stops most AI projects from ever becoming more than a proof of concept. To break through that wall, you have to stop thinking like a prompt writer and start thinking like a system builder. The secret isn't just one magic tool. It's a complete, resilient system with different layers, each performing a specific role. Think of it like building with Legos, not Play-Doh. Every piece is independent, testable, and can be swapped out or upgraded without breaking the entire structure. This blueprint empowers you to build something durable. We'll break it down into five layers. Orchestration, compute, data and memory, tooling and observability. This is the foundation, the brain of the operation. But it's more than just a brain. It's the general contractor for your entire AI project. The orchestration layer is the central manager that directs the workflow, instructing the agent what to do, which step to take next, and ensuring the blueprint is followed. This is where you replace a simple loop with a professional framework designed for reliable, stateful work. The main tools here are Langraph, Crew AI, and Microsoft's Autogen. Crew AI is excellent for quick startups. It uses an intuitive setup where you assign roles, like a CEO agent managing a researcher and a writer. It's perfect for assembling a small, effective team for straightforward tasks. Autogen is Microsoft's framework for creating complex, multi-agent conversations. It offers incredible control over each interaction, making it ideal for in-depth, academic-style research tasks, though it has a steeper learning curve. For most business needs, the ideal choice is Langraph. Developed by the Langchain team, Langraph allows you to define your agent's workflow as a visual flowchart. Each step is a node, connected by edges. This approach transforms a chaotic process into a clear, manageable map, much like a contractor's blueprint. It offers excellent state management, striking a perfect balance between simplicity and power. By using a framework like Langraph, you're no longer just hoping the agent acts correctly. 
you're providing it with a straightforward business process to follow. Now that you've designed your agent's brain, where does it actually run? Your laptop isn't suitable for real business use. You need an engine that can scale up when busy and scale down when idle to save costs. The engine should be elastic. This is where serverless platforms shine. Think of them as an Uber for computing power. You summon them when needed, and you don't own the car. The top options are AWS Lambda and Google Cloud Run. AWS Lambda is the classic function-as-a-service platform. You upload your code, and AWS manages everything else. It's a mature, reliable choice. For agent-driven workloads, however, I prefer Google Cloud Run. The key difference is that Cloud Run is built to run containers. Think of a container as a standardized shipping box for your code. Any agent you package into this box can be deployed on Cloud Run, which acts like a universal port accepting these standard containers. This approach offers much more flexibility. It also handles streaming responses beautifully, which is perfect for chatbot applications. A smart setup uses Cloud Run to handle user requests, automatically scaling up or down. It can even scale to zero, meaning you pay nothing when it's idle. It's like your Uber ride ending, and the costs vanishing instantly. For growing businesses, this is the clear winner for scalability, cost efficiency, and flexibility. If you find this level of detail useful and want to dive even deeper into building real-world AI systems, subscribe to my newsletter. Every week, I send practical tips, code snippets, and breakdowns just like this one. The link is below this video in the description. An agent without memory isn't an agent, it's a calculator. To be truly useful, your agent needs to remember past interactions and pull from vast amounts of information. This requires a dedicated data and memory layer. We're talking about a permanent, searchable brain for your business. For this, the gold standard is a robust database with vector search, and my preferred choice is PostgreSQL with the PG vector extension. Why not use a dedicated vector database like Pinecone or Weaviate? Simplicity. Using a separate vector database is like having two different libraries, one for your business data and another for the AI's memories. The agent has to go back and forth. Using Postgres with PG Vector is like having one unified library. Your user profiles and product info are stored alongside the AI's conversational memory. Here's how it works. When a user interacts with your agent, you store the conversation. You also create a vector embedding, a numerical fingerprint of that text. The next time the user asks a question, the AI quickly searches for the most similar fingerprint to find relevant past messages and uses them as context. This is how you build robust, long-term memory. This is the same magic behind Retrieval Augmented Generation, RAG. It's like your agent has a super-powered librarian who can instantly pull up not just past conversations, but also the exact page from any document in your company's knowledge base to provide fact-based answers and prevent hallucinations. This is what separates an actual agent from a basic chatbot, giving it hands to perform tasks. The tooling and API layer allows your agent to do real-world actions, sending an email, updating a CRM, or checking an order status. The goal here is to build a toolbox of simple, reliable functions. Each tool should do one thing well, like a perfect wrench or screwdriver. For example, a send-a-mail tool, a get-weather tool, or a query customer database tool. In a framework like Langgraph, you define these tools and give them clear descriptions. The AI then reads these descriptions to decide which tool to use. This is the React pattern. Reasoning about what to do, then acting by selecting and using a tool. It mirrors how a person plans tasks step-by-step step before acting. Security is critical. On platforms like Cloud Run, you can employ built-in security roles to grant your agent permission to perform its tasks without hard-coding sensitive API keys. So your AI agent is working within your business. But what exactly is it doing? How do you fix it when it makes mistakes? You need an observability layer, the eyes and ears of your system. Because AI agents can be unpredictable, traditional monitoring tools aren't enough. You need a platform designed for LLM applications. The standout tool here is Langsmith. Langsmith, from the LangChain team, acts like a flight data recorder for your AI. 
It provides a detailed trace of your agent's behavior, every step, every tool used, every prompt. If your agent gives a strange response, you can review the Langsmith trace to see precisely where the logic failed, just like analyzing a black box after a flight. Beyond debugging, Langsmith is essential for evaluation. You can save production runs, then test new versions of your agent. It's like a coach reviewing game footage with an athlete. You can even have another AI automatically score the helpfulness or accuracy of responses. This enables continuous improvement, turning guesses into data-backed confidence. For serious business applications, a tool like Langsmith isn't a luxury, it's a necessity. That was a fast overview of the five layers of a scalable AI system. Implementing this setup will put you ahead of 99% of current AI builders. To sum up, creating an AI agent that can serve a million users isn't about finding the perfect prompt. It's about solid system design. Start with the orchestration layer, the architect, using a framework like Langgraph to map workflows. Deploy on a scalable compute layer, like Google Cloud Run, to handle growth. Build a long-term data and memory layer, the unified library, with PostgreSQL and PG Vector for context. Equip it with a tooling and API layer, the hands, to perform real-world tasks. And monitor everything through an observability layer, the flight recorder, like Langsmith, for quality control. This is the blueprint. This is the stack that moves you from building simple tools to creating reliable AI systems that deliver true business value. Stop just prompting and start building tangible business assets. If you liked this video, please like and subscribe to the channel to ensure you receive similar, up-to-date content.